Mr. Manoj and Mr. Bagli, I have to be present for the first five minutes. Is that correct? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay, understood. Hello, Mr. Bagli. Am I audible? Sir, good morning. I don't know what to say. Good morning or good evening. Good late evening. Yeah, you, sir. Yeah, good you evening. Yeah. Good night. Uh, thank you so much, sir. Uh, thank you. It's a really proud moment for us to have a Kannadiga in US. And <laughs> affection of Kannadigas is attracted you to sit in the midnight for the students. Yes. Thank you so yes. much. Yes. Yes, it's no problem. So, for the sake of students. Sir, good morning, sir. Good yeah, morning. very good morning. Very good morning, Manoj Kumar. Yes, yes, sir. Fine, sir. It is in midnight for you. Yeah, midnight, one o'clock. <laughs> one o'clock. Yeah. Sir, we have here our Honorable Vice Chancellor, Dr. Amit R. Bhatt, and our Honorable Pro Vice Chancellor, Professor R. Janardhan. Very nice. Uh, good evening, uh, Professor Ravi. Yeah, thank good evening. I'll us out. Good evening, uh, Doctor. Yes, everything fine. Professor Bhatt, good morning. Uh, good morning, sir. Uh, Professor Ravi, greetings to you and namaste. Yeah, uh, namaste, Ravi. So when, I, when I'm sending my greetings and namaste to you, uh, yeah, it namaste, doesn't uh, you know, uh, require to tell whether morning or evening. That is the flexibility <laughs> of an Indian <laughs> midnight. <laughs> huh? midnight is morning now. Yeah, it's morning. So, on, on a clock, I, yeah. Yeah. Anyway, yes, nice, to, nice to have you, though you are yeah. far away in the U.S. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Last month, last month uh, in the first first of April, I came here. Uh -huh. Yes. Yeah. Next week, I'm coming back, sir. Okay. Okay. Good. Good. So, how the things are going on? I good. know your people. Huh? Gadi Swami and all. I know. I know your people, sir. In okay. fact, my. My daughter was working in your uh, college. In fact, uh, she is in medical oh. stream. Uh -huh. She was an assistant professor in What's her uh, name? medical college. Uh, Dr. Manasa. Okay. okay. <laughs> she was in public health department. Uh -huh. And then now she joined to Rajeshwari, sir. So because okay. they are to our house. Yeah. Good. Yeah. Yeah, KEA has got a new director, I suppose, Dr. Ramya. Yeah. Has... yeah, Rami has been transferred, I believe. Yes, yes. Yeah, a lot of problem was there, sir, in fact. <laughs> so can we start, Manoj? Sir, we'll just a five minutes. Okay. Uh, five minutes. People are joining now. Okay, two minutes. All right. So on the five minutes. Uh, in this, sir, just run the video. Okay. College is often viewed as a mere institution, a labyrinth of classrooms, textbooks, and endless exams, where our future is shaped. Yet, university transcends academia transforming into a vibrant community where individuals unite to learn from one another to grow and to forge unforgettable bonds it's not always about having a precise plan it's not always about figuring out it's not always about reaching the finish line first it's about discovering what we are truly passionate about the true essence of college, however, lies beyond the confines of academic pursuits. What truly makes college so special is the life that's lived within its walls. It's about seeing things from different perspectives, exploring unique possibilities in friendship. experiences. It's a path that teaches us about resilience, courage and determination. It allows us to pursue our goals with purpose and clarity. A quest that helps us find balance, happiness and fulfillment. A transformation that inspires us and what truly matters. 
matters. It's a journey of self-discovery where every experience shapes us into the best version of ourselves. We attend college for the education, but what we live with is a treasure trove of experiences that shape us forever. Experience a whole new world of academic excellence in a global environment. Dayanand Sagar University Inspiring future trailblazers today uh, Manasar hope I think uh, we will be able to start Oh sharing. yeah you can start I would request you to please share the screen sir Dear students, good morning and greetings to you from Dayananda Sagar University, Bangalore. We are pleasure to invite you for a wonderful, very important, valuable session, do's and don'ts after KCT examination. And we have experts here who are going to speak about Karnataka CET post-examination procedures. I wish to give an introduction of panelists. To start with myself, M.H. Bagli, Cluster Manager Admissions, and I wanted to invite three great speakers. First, I would like to invite and welcome Dr. Amit R. Bhatt, sir. Honorable Vice Chancellor Dayananda Sagar University, Bangalore, with his brief introduction. Dr. Amit Arbhat is Honorable Vice Chancellor of Dayananda Sagar University. Sir has done his engineering from MS University, Baroda, Gujarat. Sir has done his MS from Duke University, United States of America. Sir, sir has done his PhD from NC State University, United States of America. Dear students, sir is having 30 years of experience in industry as well as academic. Sir is a founding faculty of Dhirubhai Ambani Institute of ICT. Sir has founded a startup called Trippy Computing, which was judged top 10 startups of India. Sir has done 70 papers published in national as well as international journals. We wholeheartedly welcome you for this event, sir. Uh, our students will be definitely getting benefited through your setting up a context to the webinar. I would like to welcome our next speaker, Professor A.S. Ravi. And really, we are thankful to Professor Ravi, who is sitting in the midnight in U.S., the affection of students attracted him to be awake at this moment, at this time, and address to the student. A brief introduction of Ravi sir. Ravi sir was a lecturer in various government colleges and was an academic officer in the department of PU education in the PU department. Then sir also worked as a public relationship officer for 10 years for Karnataka Examination Authority. Then sir was a principal for Government College Malleshwaram, Bangalore. Now sir is taking several sessions in many media houses like Hindu, Vijay Karnataka, Prajavani. Sir is doing a freelancer and consultation now. And we wholeheartedly welcome you for this session, Professor A.S. Ravi. Thank you, sir. Last but not least, I welcome Professor R. Janardhan, Honorable 
pro vice chancellor of the Ananda Sagar University. We can say he has put his maximum efforts of four decades, more than four decades, we can say, to education, development of the education. Professor R. Janardhan is a pro vice chancellor at the Ananda Sagar University and vice president for the Ananda Sagar group of institutions, senior vice president. And sir is having experience not only in education, in media. Sir has developed several new ventures in Dayananda Sagar University like Startup Village, Niti Ayok's many approvals sir got for Dayananda Sagar University. And sir is known across national and internationally. And sir brought many international students for the Ananda Sagar University's kitty. With this short introduction of Professor R. Janardhan, we wholeheartedly welcome you for this webinar, Pro Vice Chancellor, sir. With this, I request our Honorable Vice Chancellor, Professor Amit R. Bhatt, sir, to set a context for this webinar. Thank Over you, to you Mr. Bagli. Mr. Bagli, thank you. Uh, thank you very much, uh, Mr. Bagli, for that kind introduction. I would like to thank Professor Ravi for kindly accepting our invitation for the benefit of the students of Karnataka. And I would also like to thank the team of DSU for organizing this wonderful seminar. So once again, good morning, students and parents. This must be an exciting time for students to choose a new college or a university. You know, this could be a little stressful because, you know, you are coming out of an environment, you know, which was quite close, quite warm. And now, you know, you are going into an environment, you know, which you in a large university like DSU, there might be 10, 12,000 students all around you. But it is also very exciting. Uh, in a place like DSU or the Anand Sagar University, you will have a wonderful experience of study. The Anand Sagar, I mean, as you can see, and as everyone can see, it has got wonderful infrastructure and labs which are equipped with the latest equipment. And you know, you are welcome to visit and see it for yourself. Apart from that, we have got excellent faculty members with PhDs in different areas who would make you a person, you know, who would be uh, teaching you various courses, preparing a good foundation, and then, you know, taking it forward. Now, you know, some of you may be wondering which course to take, which, uh, uh, you know, discipline to pursue. Let me assure you, that you know, in foundation years, most of the uh, streams have similar courses. And in third and fourth year, we have allowed students to take open electives, which you know may even if they have taken say mechanical engineering, but you know if they are interested in AIML, they can take courses from AIML stream. Another thing you know which we try to do at DSU is build a complete personality of student. You know, uh, college life is very precious. We all remember our college days, and I'm sure you will too. When you come to college or an institute or a university, academics is, of course, a very important part. But you know, to build a complete person out of a student, we have a lot of extracurricular activities. We have got many clubs which caters to different interests. For example, we have a photography club, we have film club, we have debate club, we have poetry club, we have drama club, dance club, and you know, you name it. I mean, these are just a few that I remember I uh, told you, but there are many other clubs. There are clubs which are related to, you know, studies, which, clubs which are related to, you know, uh, extracurricular activities, clubs related to sports, and of course, we have got 145 acre campus and in which you will find all kinds of 
facilities. We have got a full uh, size cricket ground, a full size football pitch. We have got tennis courts. We have got uh, basketball courts. An indoor stadium is just in the offing. What we propose to do is instill academic knowledge along with soft skill in our students. So when you graduate from Dhan and Sagar University, you will come out as a person who is ready to take on the world, not only with your academic knowledge, but with your soft skills. So I wish all my dear students all the very best, whichever institute you choose or whichever line you choose, if you work hard, the future is very bright for you. And I wish you all the best. Thank you very much. I thank you so much, sir, for your valuable words for the students. Priya Vidyarthi Gade, Dayananda Sagar Vishwe Vidyalaya Bangalore, Samajika Jawabdari Yendu Kondu, E session Ituruadu, Tumba Santoshada Vishya, Professor R. A. S. Ravi Saravarige, Nano Swagasta Idini, America Dali, Madhiratri, Professor A. S. Ravi Saravaru, Nama Karnataka the Vidyarthi Galigoskara, a Kanadigara Preeti, Professor Ravi Saravarige, Yacharavagiti De, Ide Nalku Introduction Galinda, Professor A. S. Ravi Saravarige, Vediki and No. Uh, sir, uh, we are wholeheartedly welcoming you and we are really happy to have you here because our students will be having several questions, doubts regarding post-examination, post-CET results. Many questions will be there, how to choose an option, how to select the college, how to deny for the first uh, option selection and go for next option entry. So many questions would be there. There will be students will also be putting a questions in Q and A box with this short note. I hand over a session to you, sir. Tumba Okay. Thank you, Mr. Bagali. And uh, thanks okay, again, once again to all the organizers. And uh, I would like to Really, I am immense pleasure to have this uh, type of session here. So, yesterday, day before yesterday, I think yesterday, Mr. Ba Bagli contacted me regarding this webinar. So, for the sake of students, so I said, okay, nothing to worry, we'll have a, a wonderful session. And you can uh, go ahead with that, just I said. And uh, my dear students and the parents, it's the right time and high time to know about the seed selection process, online seed selection process. So you have already taken up the examination waiting for the result. You are waiting for the result. Yes, it will come. In a day or two, it may come. Once the rank is announced what is the next process so in this context diamond sagar university have organized a good program regarding especially regarding the post examination queries yes here the whatever the colleges and whatever the courses you may intend to go, but you need to follow some uh, procedures, rules and uh, procedures. You should know some uh, basic uh, procedures about the seat selection process. So when the seat is announced, sorry, rank is announced, what, what is next? How to select the college and how to select the college have uh, been courses? Which college have to go? Which course have to take? So, what are the courses KA offers to enter the options? So, these are all the questions you may have. Yes, we'll have a 
20 to 25 minutes session here. So I will brief about the process and then you can put your queries in the box. Definitely I'm ready to answer all the queries here. We'll go with a step by step, step by step. So once the rank is announced, so you'll be happy or some of, some, most of the students will be happy and uh, some of the students may not be happy because you may get a low rank or the uh, least rank like that. So nothing to worry, whatever the rank you have got. So as per the statistics, so our number of seats are almost, almost will be available for all the students if you have entered the options correctly. If you select, the college may not get as per your selection, but certainly the seat may the seat will get. How to take the seats? So once the see once the rank is announced, so they will uh, announce the seat matrix. So before seat matrix, I think this year you have already uploaded the documents. So based on the uh, uh, documents uploaded during the application time, so they will allow you to download the verification slip. What do you mean by verification slip? So the what are the claims you have claimed in the applications? Like claims like any reservations, like AC, ST, category 1, 2A, 2B, 3A, 3B, whatever they may, whatever they may be, or sports, quota, NCC, defense, whatever you are, whatever it may be. So based on that, if you have, based on the uh, application, uh, what you have applied there, they will allow you to download the verification slip. Then only <coughs> you are eligible to go for the option entries. So verification slip consists of the list of list of documents what you uploaded. Suppose if any varies or anomalies there when you applied and when the verification slip is reflected, then certainly you can approach the KEA. Sir, I have applied on this quota, but you have not, you have not uh, entered that. So what is the problem in that? You can go and uh, enquire there itself. So there is a scope to correct that. Nothing to worry. So based on your applications, so they will generate the verification slip. Please download the verification slip by using your credential, login credential, like user ID, password. So user ID, password. So you already... I think you are you 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 might have you might have uh, known that uh, user ID password during the application time itself. By using the same credential, you can log into KEA portal and download the verification verification slip. Once you download the verification slip, you please check the details present in that. Like during your application time, <coughs> what all the criteria you entered, whether it has come or not, you have to verify. Like. 10 standard Mars, 10 standard Mars card and PUC Mars card, study certificate. If you have applied under any reservation like SCST category one, two A, two B, three A, three B, SC and uh, uh, category one students. In addition to that, sports quota, defense quota, ex defense quota, and Canada medium rural quota, and uh, Hyderabad Canada quota 371, Hyderabad Canada quota. So these are all the different reservations are available for the Karnataka students this you might have applied during the time. If you have applied in which are the categories and under which are the category you applied, so that it has been entered or not, you have to verify. Yes, if it is there, yes, just download that. So in the verification slip, you can find an important uh, and unique uh, ID will be there and number will be there. That's the secret key will be there. Eight digit secret key will be there. That uh, secret key may be in the form of alpha or numerical or it may consist of both alpha and or numerical. So why I am calling a secret key? Because it is in credential to log in further in the KE web portal for in the KE website for your option entry or you can download the, for download the uh, admission order and any for further uh, uh, KA activities, this key plays a vital role. As I said, secret key, it, to, it has to maintain very, you should not uh, disclose the secret key to anyone. 
because once if anybody comes to know your secret your uh, secret key or that uh, secret number they may log into your credential or they may log into your uh, credential and they may have a, there are there are chances to change the options or the choices that's what you please keep it safely and don't disclose that to anyone or at any point of time so once you download it so that is that is you are eligible to enter the online options so that is almost 50% job is over once you get the verification slip your 50% job is over and then you are eligible to go for online option entry <coughs> yes after the after enabling the verification slip ka officials will release the seat matrix what do you mean by seat matrix seat matrix is nothing but the number of seats are available for the course in the college in the college for different categories for ex for different streams for example dayana sagar university or the dayana sagar of dayana sagar institutions having 12 branches means for all the 12 branches they are going to give the seat matrix based on the reservation for sc how many seats are there st how many seats are there general how many seats are there category 1 how many seats are there <coughs> and uh, 2a 2b 3a 3b sports quota ncc defense ex defense ex defense capf ex capf and hyderabad karnataka kannada medium rural these are all the different reservations for all these different reservations they are going government is going to give the seat matrix that will be announced by the ke officials by seeing that you can log into your ke web portal by using the credential like secret key and your password and you can enter your options that is very important once the seat matrix announced so ke people will announce to announce in their notifications to enter your online options how to enter the options how many options can be entered for how many question how many courses you can uh, uh, enter the options because ke will offer for many courses in engineering itself many streams or uh, other than engineering bsc ag will be there veterinary will be there and in the bsc ag courses or in the bsc agriculture science courses you can find more more than 10 uh, different branches like dairy technology genetic engineering biotechnology sericulture horticulture physiculture forestry home science like that different courses are there for all the courses you can enter the options simultaneously but since the dsu then as our university is conducting this program so i think you people are interested to go for engineering so i suppose if any students are there to go for other uh, branches also it may help you that's what i am insisting i am uh, uh, touching a part of this so once the seat matrix announced so they will they will be given uh, they will uh, they are going to announce the time frame so from this date to this date you can enter your options how to enter you can log into your uh, ke uh, log into ke web portal by using your credential so ke uh, option entry portal will be there once you enter into that portal college name will be there course name will be there college code will be there and uh, course code will be there so you need not enter the all the college name and course name so you can enter the college code and course code suppose if it is in the bsc if you are interested in bsu or in dayanand sagar institutions you can enter your options in the first priority itself for example in the dayanand sagar college so there are 12 branches are there suppose if the 12 branches are there in which course you are interested you have to enter first that for example computer science in dayanand sagar the uh, university or dayanand sagar institutions 
you see the code number college code number click on that and select the course code and click on that so how many options can be entered in that college there is no limitations you can enter as many as you can for suppose if you don't get in uh, computer science there you can go for e enc or uh, uh, information science or any other uh, AI, AI machine, AI and ML. And uh, suppose if you are interested in mechanical, you can enter the, uh, enter the mechanical after that. After mechanical, what to suppose? Yes, suppose if I don't get mechanical, I'll go for, I'll go to say, I'll go to civil. Yes, if it is so, you can enter the civil also. Like that, you can make the priority and you can enter. How to make the priority? It's very important. The op entry of option and making priority plays a vital role in the online seat selection process. Earlier, you earlier, the KA used to allot a seat through offline. Student used to come to used to go to KA. So they used to show the uh, seat number of seats available in different colleges and for the different courses. Students used to select the courses and college there. Now, by sitting at home, by sitting at home, you can select your seat. You need not go to K or any other centers. Wherever you are, whether you are in Karnataka or whether you are in out of Karnataka or whether you are in Bangalore or in outside Bangalore, you can easily select your seat by sitting at home. If you are if you are know about this KA process, if you still have the sort of link, online study selection process is very easy, but you should uh, know the process. You should know the process. Yes, by uh, entering the seat matrix, by, ent by entering the uh, college options, so you can, you there is no limitation for the option entry, but the only thing is you have to make the priority. Priority should be very paka, unless Unless make priority, even if you're having a good rank, you may not be able to get a good seat. How to make the priority? So suppose if you're intending to enter for 10 colleges, for 10 courses, 10 into 10 means 100 uh, options you have to enter. How to enter the under, uh, 100 options? So the first one, first college. First college means, so Diana Sagar University College or Diana Sagar Institutions, Kumar Swami Levad, there is a code, there is a e, e for some uh, uh, DSU KCT college code here, they have displayed here, E240, E182, like that. So you, you should know the college code number. You click on the college code, and if you are interested in uh, computer science engineering, you can select the computer science C, CS code, and enter. that will be the first. Suppose if you don't get computer science, what is next? So the only one option is enough? No. That depends on your rank. Suppose if you are having a 100 rank or 200 rank or 300 rank, if you enter only one option, that is that will be allotted. If you are having more than 1,000 rank, yes, you have you need to enter more than 100 uh, options. That's what there is no limitation for the option entry. As many as you can, you can enter. How to make always the first one should be better than second, second should be better than fourth, fourth should be better than fifth, and fifth should be better than sixth. And the sixth should be better than seventh, and the last one should have a least important win compared to all like that. You have to make the priority. So, how to see now we have a plenty of time, uh, dear students and parents. So, you should know the you should uh, go to the college and inquire there which college and which course is good, good, and make the list out and make a rough work. Lot of homework you have to do. So, and then we can say okay, after the homework, you can sit in the so in front of the system and you can enter the options very easily because option entry window will be given for four or five days or within four or five days will be there so within that you have to may you have to enter you have to make your option option entry in the uh, portal so last minute rush may be there that's what you, you go to the system or you go to the uh, cyber cafe or if you have a system at home you be patiently and uh, enter your options comfortably. You should not make uh, many hurry or urgency. So once you make the entry of option entry is over, or once you enter the options, 
you can take the printout and check once again, don't submit there. Just take the printout and verify the priority. If you need to change the priority or if you have put the good college in the or good course in the least priority, least preferences, you can change that. You can change that and you can rearrange that. Once the PAKA option entry or the priority is done and then you can submit the option entry button and take the final printout of that. Why I am insisting to take the printout? Because that is the document, that is the acknowledgement for the option entry. Because uh, uh, once you the once the option entry is over, no one can log into your credential unless your key is, is key is given to some uh, some uh, or someone is has logged into your uh, uh, credentials. That's what I told you. Don't please don't reveal your secret key to anyone. So keep it safely. Once the options entry is over, yes, the KA people is going, are going to announce the mock allotment date. So on that date, they are going to give the result, mock allotment result. That is not the PAKA result. That is the dummy. That is the uh, trial result. So which may gives you a rough idea where you can stand and in which college you may get it and which course you may get it. By seeing that, by seeing that, they give, after the announcement, two more days or three more days time will be given to rearrange or to give the fresh option entry. If you want to make any changes in the option entry, yes, there is a scope to change your options and rearrange your options or delete your options or add your, add your, add your options. So anything can be done. But uh, my suggestion is don't delete the, any options. Please, you can add up and you can rearrange if you want. Because option entry is only one time. So for, even, though, even though there are uh, three rounds, they won't give you to enter the fresh options for further for next round or the so third round. So option entry is only one time for all the rounds. That's what as much as you can, you can enter your options. There is no limitation for that. So please enter your options more. Once the option entry is over, yes, that after the mock allotment, again, you can take the printout and then submit the button, submit the button and uh, take the printout and keep it yourself. After that, after that, after all the verification is done by the KA people, they are going to announce the seat allotment. So all the students and the parents are waiting for that process. So where, in, in which college I've got, you know, whether that college is good or not. So then you, you, you are going to start the uh, searching all these things. Yes, that's what you cannot, you cannot do anything after the allotment. Before the allotment, please go to the colleges, for example, the DSU or the Narayan Sagar institutions, go there, inquire there, which colleges are good, which courses are good, whether all the faculties are there, all the facilities are there, all the for transport facilities are there, and if ever hostel facilities are there, you can inquire whatever you want. And then you make the priority and then enter. After the after option entry is over, you have no scope to change your options. Once the seat is allotted, there is no chance to change your options. So you can go to the next round, that's all. But you cannot change the options. Yes, once the seat is allowed, first round seat is allotted, in front of you, there will be four choices. Like choice one, choice two, choice three, choice four. What are, the, what are these choices? Choices are, so depending on the number of rounds, so they give the choices. Usually, two rounds will be there and another one extended round will be there. Three rounds will be there. So first round seat, first round seat allotment is done. So you'll come to know which college, which college is allotted, has been allotted. If you are interested, so to enable your interest or to join the colleges, so KA people will give the 
choices like choice one, choice two, choice three, choice four. You should know what are these choices. Options, options are different and choices are different. Choices will come after the allotment, after the option entry. Choices, choice one says the allotted college and seat is good. I'm satisfied. I will take this seat. I don't want any seat other than this seat. I don't go to part. I don't want to participate further from the KA process. In the KA process means you can enter your options. Once you exercise the choice, uh, sorry, exercise the choice one. Once you exercise the choice one, so you, you are bounded to take that seat. You have no scope to change that. Once you exercise choice one, you have to go to the college. What do, what the choice one says? The allotted college is good, and I am satisfied. I will take that seat. So once after the exercise, after exchange choice, so what to do? Yes. So you need to make the payment. No. So what are, how much fees is there? Fees will be displayed during the seat matrix time itself for the for each and every courses. So what the, the prescribed uh, uh, fees also the fees also will come in the allotment uh, order. You can see that. So you, you have to make the payment through online or you can download the channel and you go to the bank and make the payment. After making payment, after making payment, after one hour, so KA people will enable to download your admission order. Once you download the admission order, you can check the details present in the admission order the, like your name, your college code, your college name and course code and course name and your rank and your address and your father name and your mother name ever your mother name mother name will not be there your and your father name may be there so and your rank everything is and which in which category you have allotted so everything should be should be verified if anything if anything is there you can go to kap or you can uh, inquire in the ka and uh, sir i have applied under this category under rc category and I've got a seat under GM. So how it is possible? Yes. In many cases, if your rank is at par or above with the general rank, seat will be allotted under GM itself. Because to facilitate that seat to next the next your category students, if the, your rank is above or at par with general candidate, general students, you are, even though if you have applied under any category, seat may be allotted under general category that is the rules of the that is the rule of the reservations there is the reservation rules so to facilitate your category your other category students <clears throat> so once the seat is allotted you can download that and you can check the all the details present in the admission order and go to the college with all the originals so what all you applied during the application time so that all the originals like SLC Mars card, PUC Mars card, and study certificate like at 1 to, 1 to 10. Suppose if you have claimed under a rural quota, so 1 to 10 years study certificate should be there and PUC study certificate should be there. And Canada medium, that's also it should be there. Canada medium certificate should be there. And the same 10 standard PUC Mars card and study certificate. And if you have applied under any categories like uh, income and cash certificate should be there, like 2A, 2B, 3A, 3B, SC, ST category, one like that. So, and uh, if any uh, EWS sorry, candidates are there, you have to produce the EWS certificate. So, depending on the category seat you have allotted, all the documents should be submitted in the college one set original and uh, set of attested copies who can attest so any guested officer can attest because you have not attained the students cannot attest, attest that because students have not attained 18 years they are not supposed to attest themselves so you can go to any guested officers and attest the copies and you can submit in the college once you submit the once you submit the all the details and the college people will take the admission and then you should log in. majority majority of the students what to do once they take the admission they come back and they will be they will uh, um, roam or they will they will they are completely free they will completely free yes i got the i got the admission so and then i can go to the college as per the timetable or as per the reopening date like that 
Now, once you take the admissions, you need to log into KEB portal to update the joining status. And the college authority also should uh, log into the same. That is the college portal will be there and student portal will be there. Student should log into the student portal and enter for, the, for which college, for which course, and uh, how much fees paid. So when did you join? So everything, so it will be in that uh, every um, uh, that that uh, uh, information should be entered in the college. Once you enter and submit, yes, your admission process is over. Uh, suppose if you don't log into a KUA portal or you don't update the joining status in the KUA portal, even though if you have taken admissions, the college and the students fail to fail to uh, enter the uh, student portal as well as the college portal by the college authority, your admissions will be cancelled. That's what, be careful. So once you take the admission in the college, college authority will also will help you. So they you can log into a portal, student portal and enter the options. Sorry, and enter the informations. So this is the choice one. Suppose allotted seat is not interested. Okay, but if you are interested to go to the next round, yes, you can go to the choice two. Choice two says, you should know, what do you, what do you mean by choice two? Choice two says the allotted college and seat is somewhat okay. By holding that seat, I'll go to the next round. If I get a better, better seat, I will go for that. Otherwise, I'll have the same seat then. So that means choice two says, once you get a seat, if this if in the second round, if the seat is upgraded, the allotted seat will be a first round allotted seat will be automatically cancelled. So I can I can give you a best example. Suppose if you have entered 100 options. 25th is allotted. So, but you are intended to go for the second row. If you, if you XI choice 2, so once you XI choice 2, 25th will be with you. 1 to 24th options will be available for the next round. Below 25th options, all the options will be deleted. Why it is deleted? Because the least priority. Least priority. So, it was least priority college. So in the second round, <coughs> system will search from 1 to 24 because 25th is already with you. System will search from 1 to 24. So if the, so in the second round, 15th is allotted, 25th will be automatically deleted. Then you cannot come after that the second round, you cannot come. No, no, so I don't want 25th. I wanted the uh, 25th only. Can you give that? No, because again, the priority. 25th should not be better than 15th. 15th should be better than 25th. That's what when you are making the priority, you should you should be extra cautious and you should do paka. You should do paka. Suppose if you if you fail to do the priority, proper priority, yes, that's what I told you. Even if you have having a good rank, you may fail to get a good seat in good uh, in good the college and a good course. That's what, please make the priority. Yes, once this choice two is given, yes, in the first round, you no need, no need to make the payment. So 25th, 25th and below options will be deleted and you will uh, go to the next round. In the next round, in the next round, if any seat is allotted, if you exercise again choice two, you need to make the payment. Once you made the payment, so and then if you are not interested, so, you can go to the second round in uh, the extended round. There is the final round. So this is the choice two. Choice three is there. Choice three says the allotted seat at the college is not interested, but I wish to participate in the next round. Choice three says the allotted seat is not at all interested, but I wish to participate in the next round. So if it is so, let us see the consequences. If you exercise the choice three, what is the consequences? Let us see. Once we exercise choice three, allotted seat will be deleted and all other options will be available for the next round. For, I can take up the same examples. I can give you the same examples. Like if you have entered 100 options, again, 25th is allotted. You are not interested with the 25th. You are intended to go for choice three. If you excite choice three, 25th will be deleted and all other 99 options will be available for the next round. In the next round, 
50th seat is allotted if you are interested you can exercise choice on and you can go go and join you can join the college like as i told you earlier or again if you are not interested once again you can exercise choice 2 or choice 3 and you can go you can go to the next round this is choice 3 so choice 4 is there choice 4 says the allotted college and seat is not at all interested and also but i i, I do not want to participate further from the ka means you can exercise choice 4 and you can you can uh, go out of the ka so once you go out of the KEA further, you will not be eligible to participate in any uh, round of in any uh, round of the KEA. Once that says the allotted college and seat is not at all interested, but I wish to fit from the KEA process means choice four. Once you say choice four, choice four, you will be out of KEA. You are not entitled to participate. In any more round in the K through KEA, there is the choices. See, this is the see, sir. I uh, when I am entering the options, can I mix the options? Yes, definitely you can mix the options. And uh, can I mix the different courses? Yes, you can mix the different courses like veterinary. You can mix. You can mix the engineering, and you can mix the uh, agriculture course. But uh, only things you need to make the priority. That's all. These are all the choices and the seat allotment process. Once the all the rounds are over, the final rounds will be there. I mean, three rounds will be there. All the if all the third or three rounds are over there. I mean, over. And then what are the remaining seats are there? That will become waste. That will go to the management, and that will be filled by the management. Okay. So suppose. If you want to cancel your seat between these three rounds, for example, you have allotted a first a seat in first round, and uh, uh, before the second round, if you have got a seat through Comet K or through the management, if you want to cancel, yes, you, you have a scope to cancel the seat through online itself. So cancellation charges will be there, 5,000 or 10,000 will be there, 5,000 may be there. So uh, they will deduct the whatever the fees you have paid and remaining amount will be returned even if you have paid the fees. If you have not paid the fees, you can just intimate them and you can through the on, through online and you can quit the process. So cancellation, in a, uh, that will be there, nothing to worry. So and the comment key also, see the comment key, same procedure, they, are, they follow the same procedure. They also conduct the three rounds of uh, counseling. So after the first round of KEA, they will conduct the first round of KEA, I mean, Comet K. After the second round of KEA, they will, Comet K people will conduct the second round of, uh, second round allotment. After the um, third round, they conduct third round of allotment. So there is no ambiguity and there is no confusion over the seal selection process. So you can happily participate. You can happily participate. And if you have any doubts, if you have any doubts, so at any point of time, you can approach the KEA people because the online seed selection process is very sensitive. So by knowingly, unknowingly, suppose if you have not done the uh, options properly, so as I told you earlier, you may not get a good seat in good college. For that, I can give you one good example for that. I think in the year of 2017, the student having a rank 1200 within uh, category 1 rural and Kannada medium students in near from, uh, I think he is from uh, nearby Ramnagar. So for his rank, definitely will get a seat in any college or any course. Category 1 is a very, and Kannada medium rural. So he entered the options, first options, that's the Gaussian College of Engineering, uh, Ramnagar. Once that college is entered, but you got the seat, first option is uh, he, got, he got the seat itself. So he has no scope to go for any round. The very first option he sent, I mean, got this, uh, got a seat means, first option, uh, options seat got means, there is no scope to go for second round. That's what in a, in a, invariably, inevitably, you should take that seat. Please don't do that. 
whether you are going to get a seat or not, please enter your options with a good course and good college itself. Good college. So that's what when you are making choice, you mean options, please make pakka options and pakka priority. So this is all about the seat selection process. So about uh, engineering, uh, engineering. And if you have any queries and doubts, yes, I'm very happy to uh, receive the questions and I can address the questions as far as possible. Thank you. Thank you so much, sir. It's a wonderful Thank you, sir. description for the students. And almost all clarification students got. But still, some of the queries in Q&A box, I yes, was able to find what about non-Karnataka students uh, entering into QA. Next is, what about non-Karnataka students yeah. need entry? They asked. Yes, need entry. Yes, sir. See, NEET is for medical. Yes. First, I'll address that. It's medical. That examination is conducted by the CBM and the NTC people. And they will, after the, I think, the NEET examination, NEET examination is also over. After the rank announced, they will give the data to the KEA people. The KEA people will announce the Sir, will allot a seat for all the candidates, including non-Karnataka and Karnataka. Some reservations will be there who are eligible and who are not eligible for Karnataka seat, Karnataka non-Karnataka. So earlier, the whatever the Comet K seats are there, for the Comet K seats, both Karnataka and non-Karnataka students are eligible. And the government seats, only Karnataka students are eligible as far as need is concerned. So again, the separate online registrations will be done for the need. I think that's on, on the process. So I think you can enter there, you can register there. For engineering, if you want to get a seat through KEA, so non-Karnataka students are not all eligible. Suppose that's for, that's for the Comet K. If non-Karnataka student has studied in Karnataka for a minimum period of seven years, out of which out of which 10th or 12th, if he has completed in Karnataka, he is eligible to take through CET or KEA. KEA. Even though he is outside the, outside the state, if he has studied in Karnataka for a minimum period of seven years, out of which 10th or 12th must be completed. Suppose if he has completed in Karnataka, Yes, he is eligible. If he has not at all studied in Karnataka, yes, he is, there is no scope to take a seat through KEA. Suppose some non-Karnataka, I mean Karnataka parents and the students are residing outside this outside the uh, state. If it is so, so if they produce that is a class code B is there, C and D is there. So if they have applied under those clause, yes. Uh, the requisite documents is supplied, I mean, uh, given, they will, uh, uh, they have to take the separate examination, Canada examination like uh, CND candidate, Canada, Canada examinations, four standard Canada examinations. If he has taken up that, if he has passed the passed in the Canada examination, so for 50 marks examinations, they have to score minimum 12 or 13. If you have, if he has scored that, he is eligible. Basically, if they are from Karnataka and they are residing outside of Karnataka, they are eligible. If not at all study, or if they are not belongs to Karnataka, yes, then they have to go through Comet K only. Sir. Yes. Thank you, sir. Uh, few more questions. List of questions yeah. are there. Yes, yes, uh, yes. Uh, for a better ye, I'll read all one yeah. by one. You can answer, sir, please. Yes. Uh, sir, uh, basically, uh, the question is from me. Many students will ask. About ah. SNQ quota, uh, okay, okay. would the SNQ quota go and what would be the fees for that? And next yeah. question would be, sir, uh, some students asking uh, now, 
because of the new um, different branches would be there. You can choose major and minor in engineering. For that, a student is asking if I get a seat through KCET and get through KEA, do I need to pay extra in the institution for choosing different minors? And uh, one student is asking about EWS category. Uh, yeah. It is asking for certain income certificate and ending ID number, which I need to submit. The yeah. student is asking about. Yes. And uh, a student also asking about how can I hold the seat till my NEET results. <laughs> uh, these are the questions which has come. Okay, so take one by one. What is the first one? Sir, first one is SNQ quota. Yeah, SNQ quota. We'll go with the SNQ quota. So, yes, I forgot to mention the my, during my session. So SNQ quota is, a, is called super numerary quota. So given by the government of India. So for each and every course and each, in uh, each and every college, over and above 5% seats will be available for the lower income candidate students. Lower income uh, parents and students. If their parental income is low, by described by the government of Karnataka, so they are eligible to get a seat. There is no reservation for that. Whoever has got a lower income other than general merit, other than general merit, like 2A, 2B, 3A, 3B, SC, ST <clears throat> category students, for general students, CWS will be there. I will take up later. If their family income is, is less than the prescribed income prescribed by the government of uh, Karnataka, income prescribed by the government of Karnataka, yes, the seat will be allotted for them. For example, you start from the zero income. So how the zero income will be there? So if both the parents are not there, zero income will be zero like that. So it starts from zero and where the cutoff rank, cut of the income uh, closes for 5% seats, that will be seizures. For them, no need to pay any fees except the university fees. University fees, first year university fees may be around 4,800 or 4, within 5,000 uh, rupees will be there for only first year. And further, for the other three more years, no need to pay anything for them. Only 4,500 or 5,000 rupees will be there for them. That is the SNQ quota. And for general students, so one was, I think one of the students have asked EWS. EWS, that is an economical weaker sections of the non-reserved candidates, students. So they need to get their certificate from the revenue department. And they need to, suppose if, you are, if they are applied during the application time, and the documents also should be substantiated or should be given in the, or uploaded in the, uh, application time itself. If your uh, certificate is reflect, or if that category is reflected in the verification slip, yes, you are eligible to claim that quota or to take that seat. That is also based on the income, whose income is low or less, so that will be allotted. So 10% seats will be there. So that also will be mentioned. So I do not know for the engineering, medical, it will be there. You just check that during the uh, seat matrix announcement, they will announce it. Please go through that and act as per that. That is, a, yes, that is the um, EWS. And a uh, few more questions. So you I said, said, sir? A student, a student asked about, supposing after taking admission in particular Indian college, yeah, yeah, yeah. Change the college. So, yes, yes. Suppose if you want to take change the branches, if you want to change the process, uh, branch, that it will be that is not a concern with KEA. So by taking consent between the college and the university, you can change. If it is an autonomous, you have a scope to uh, take a call on that. If it is a non-autonomous, like a Dayanand Sagar institution, so there you can, by taking a consent of the university, so in the second, for second year, you can change the, you can change the uh, courses except SNQ. SNQ students cannot take, uh, take up the ch course changes. He cannot, there is no scope to change the courses for SNQ students because there is no fees. For the candidate other than SNQ, 
there is a scope to change, but there is no additional charges for them. Or additional fees. Is there is no additional fees the, for them, sir. What is the reservation for girl students? In K yeah, there is no reservation for the girl students. In the education, there is no reservation for the girl students. Thank you so much, sir. And sir, uh, students, some students ask for Okay, uh, do uh, any donation would be there after going through KEA? After going to? KEA. Yes, there is no donations. KEA will allot a seat and their subsidized rates. So for if whatever the fees is there, that, that will be announced in the KEA website which much earlier. Much earlier. So that is a government fees only. There is no donation for that. There, there is no donation in KEA. Uh, thank you so much, sir. I thank you, sir. Any, any questions? Uh, before I invite our Honorable Pro Vice Chancellor, Professor R. Janardhan, sir. Yes, sir. For a session, I would be thankful to Mr. Manoj Kumar Jena, who was in, in continuation talk with you, sir. Uh, he was talking with you, Ravi, sir, Mr. Manoj Kumar Jain, our assistant director admissions. Yes. Uh, thank you so much, uh, Manoj, sir. I also thank our honorable chief marketing officer, Mr. Deepak, for helping us to arrange this session. I will also welcome him for the session. Now, this is time to invite our honorable pro vice chancellor, Professor R. Janardhan, sir, to talk to our students. Sir, please share the experience. You have a lot of experience in motivating students, in talking to students, and giving many valuable information. We are really thrilled to listen to you whenever we get an opportunity, sir. David, to Vidyarthi Galige, David, to please talk to the students. Uh, thank you so much, sir. Thank you, Mr. Bagli. Uh, Professor Ravi, Thanks. compliments to you. You represent KEA. And uh, I, I, on behalf of uh, everybody in Karnataka, we have to acknowledge the great role played by the Karnataka Examination Authority in allowing very bright students to take advantage of the yes. reservation that is done in uh, professional colleges. Almost 50% of the seats the, uh, is, uh, goes to very bright children who prepare very hard along with their plus two uh, uh, exams. And they also write the CET exams. The toppers obviously get the, uh, a program and college of their choice. And uh, we see a huge rush uh, to for, from across Karnataka from extremely uh, intelligent, hardworking students who have dedicated themselves to pick one of the best courses and a good college uh, who come into Daniel Sagar uh, institutions and Daniel Sagar University. Now, why do uh, uh, people come in such large numbers uh, to, to Daniel Sagar uh, campuses? I would like to um, share a few things. Yes, we, we have been extremely fortunate uh, to have an enlightened management and uh, who allow the uh, uh, anybody's innovation to be seen in action. So if a class 10 or class 11 uh, uh, child wants, uh, comes with a very bright idea, we, uh, we encourage them to come into our campus even when they are in school or preparing for their board exams in the class 10, the, we connect them uh, with our class, uh, first semester, second semester students in, in our professional programs and uh, you know to create a situation where there can be active collaboration in among students who are in school and who are in college so that an innovative idea can get transformed into something very meaningful and uh, the idea gets life in our campuses. So looking at what Danan Sagar is doing, so young children trying to transform their ideas, mentored by students who are in the first or second year of engineering or any of the other professional programs, uh, the end of three days of interactive sessions, uh, a number of companies have seen that 
innovation gets transformed into real projects and real projects going into the market through startup ideas. So the government of India, looking at what we are doing at the Anil Sagar campuses, and in active collaboration with about a dozen companies where uh, good companies have established labs in our campuses and young minds come and are allowed to work in these labs. So a combination of the mentorship from our own students, our teachers, two students who are still in school and the, the labs that have come in, in and, and are available for all these groups of students, new ideas get transformed to become companies and these products go into the market. A German company which operates from Bangalore has just now announced that any idea and if it becomes a product and if this product has to see the marketplace, 120 countries are open to for, for a startup uh, to place their products in 120 countries Ma the marketing network of these many countries are available without an upfront investment of even a single rupee. Which means if you are collaborating with Anand Sagar University in whatever capacity, you can see that your product, your idea becomes a product and this product can see uh, access market in 120 countries. So this, on this, I will be announcing this, you know, making formal announcements a little later. But here, we are trying to showcase what life in the Anand Sagar University is all about and why people come to us in very large numbers. People with very good ranks who are in the merit, you know, uh, would like to come and join us. And many of the programs are <coughs> reflect uh, tomorrow's need. That is three years, four years from now, when you enter the industry and marketplace or the workplace, you got to still be relevant or you got to be latest. So how can you be relevant in tomorrow's situation? You can see the facilities that is available, the guidance, the support. Now, for instance, these are all the companies that are available. Their state-of-the-art uh, state of labs are within the campus. And this is available to a student who just comes in, even in the first semester, he can sit on any of the labs and transform his ideas to become a real product or a real solution where somebody will pay for this product or service and buy from this uh, class uh, student who is just about 18 or 19. So we are seeing number of such successes. Government of India is very impressed with what we are doing. And uh, now I will just give an example of Autodesk. Autodesk, what will you do in an Autodesk? If uh, any of you are in that 16, 17, 18 age group, and you have been to a good school and uh, you are playing cricket or something with your neighborhood and an aunt or an uncle uh, uh, you know, who stays next door, who's got a child and uh, of an, in the class four or five and there is an assignment from that particular child's school, teacher tells your, you know, um, you got a, 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 a dog at home and this is a she dog, a girl, you know, and this dog is now pregnant and five to six months from now, Maybe the, the dog will lay puppies. And uh, now there is already uh, a staying facility. The dog has got its own house. But once it, you know, that it can accommodate a single dog. But when it lays its puppies and those puppies in five, six months become big. So the project given to the child of class four or five by that respective school is how to build a house, design a house to use, you know, go sit in the Autodesk lab of Danan Sagar University and come out with a solution where physically we would like to see what the future house, the new dog house can be. And so this child comes to a student who's in Danan Sagar University and says, can I work with you, Ramesh or somebody, and I want to work on this solution. So this student of Danan Sagar University brings that school kid into the Autodesk lab and uh, they together with a few other friends, uh, they, they come out with a solution. And uh, this solution is a joint work of a child who's in class four or five in the neighborhood and mentored by a student of the Anand Sagar University. They work together in the Autodesk lab and a student in the entire neighbor of the Anand Sagar University suddenly becomes a hero because he is he's enabling to find a solution to a challenge that is posed in a school or in a, to a class four or class five student. Now, this is an everyday life where 
students you know come with the with, with real challenges real problems and our students mentor our own students who are in first semester second semester third semester mentor young children who are in school why we have the kind of facilities you know in our labs and uh, teachers students everybody are willing to help the community one way or the other to find simple solutions so our state of the art labs like the autodesk i mentioned or the nvidia lab are not just show pieces but they offer allow students young people to come out with real solutions in fact even when the world was not even talking about ai and chat and things like that the nvidia lab the 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 uh, uh, one of its kind today nvidia is known all over the world it has outsmarted uh, intel but nvidia lab we had the supercomputing lab in dhanasagar university uh, almost 9 years ago now you will realize dhanasagar why dhanasagar university has to be preferred because we had the kind of vision to think far ahead so today our students are well accepted in the marketplace and everybody can have access to these wonderful labs and government of india impressed with what we are doing gave uh, asked us to apply for the aic dsu foundation and enabled us to start the aic dsu uh, center and through that uh, through that we can, we are now able to allow more research to happen more innovation to happen more startups to take up and with that government of india gave us a 10 crore grant so with this kind of one you know catches one is is fill enabling the other so government is happy industry is happy students parents are happy and teachers are happy so you you see that we we wanted to become a different campus something with a new vision which many campuses in india may not be able to think or even go ahead and implement now it's not all about lessons class innovation it's uh, you know the 50% is something which we have got to work with uh, teams so individual ex excellence is one that is only for my mark sheet but am i good to work in teams can i work with uh, others others each individual is made up of a different temperament so how do i work with them so I, am i good in sports can i collaborate with uh, others can i uh, so you know when i join a company I have to solve and work with teams. So how do I do that? So this is what uh, Manoj. Can you go back into the sports uh, thing slide? Yeah. So can I? You know, when you play, you know, it has got to be a teamwork, right? So the uh, emphasis on sports is something very significant that you will find individually you can become strong, but then you are also you know pushed to work. with teams and so in the sports fields we ensure that our students get enough exposure to play with several others as part of teams okay move next so i'm talking of the teamwork and individual excellence uh, publications patents so these are all which which students uh, uh, do they participate in in, in several competitions uh, held across the country and across the globe the our students are doing extremely well uh, so interdisciplinary study so our dream is that medicine engineering has to be studied in in the same campus and we have realized that uh, dream and today engineering and medicine together are working to make a, a, a suffering patient individual to smile so this is what dhanan sagar uh, dreamt and today we are very successful to see that uh, the convergence of uh, science medicine engineering is taking place and uh, why we are doing it to ensure happiness uh, to ensure that a suffering patient uh, you know can smile yeah yeah <clears throat> we are also very active in <clears throat> saving and replicating very rare uh, species uh, and uh, this is something again very useful very you know uh, over a period of time uh spe some species of plant life they they become extinct so somebody has to do this uh, job of saving replicating which we are doing that and giving it to the farmers so this is one more way of dhanan sagar university being relevant to societal needs yeah 
Now, students can uh, plan to study some, you know, do sp spend their time uh, in, in our main campus and look at doing courses or uh, part of the program uh, in some of the best uh, universities uh, with our uh, research centers in India or outside India. So that is, again, something the flexibility in, in your uh, study program is what you can realize in the Anansagar University. Now, we, we will very soon launch uh, the Dhanan Sagar satellite, which is again a great experience for students and teachers who are not only in the Dhanan Sagar campuses, but uh, in other colleges in Bangalore. So this uh, through this uh, platform, I'm uh, making this announcement. Our satellite will soon be launched with support from ISRO and DRDO. Uh, this is a, again a very exciting time for all of us. So some startups, in this space domain, we'll see the light of the day at the DSU campus. Yeah. The ambience and uh, what we say is, is something which one has to experience. Uh, when you come into walk into the Anand Sagar University, you will see an international campus. So it's not just about all of India being reflected in one campus, but all of the world is, can, see, can be seen here. And uh, again, why is it required that you got to study in such a beautiful campus uh, where convergence should happen, not just within uh, the different nationalities, uh, or you got to experience uh, the futuristic world when many of you go outside India for higher studies or work, you got to be well prepared. The cultural shocks should be very minimal and therefore you are well prepared when you are in a campus like the Anand Sagar University. Skilling, we prepare you uh, beyond what is required in today's world. We want to ensure that our campus is futuristic and the students who pass out of our campus are also futuristic. Yeah. Now, how do you get into, uh, in case you are getting into through CET, you're welcome. In case that may not happen, so you got to, you know, you're welcome to write the DSAT exam. So this month we have two sessions and next month we have two, two, two sessions. And DSAT again for this kind of experience, you get at a very lower price. And uh, so this is something which I would request parents and students to keep in mind. The Anand Sagar admission test is right now. Registrations are open. If you are coming through CET, you are welcome. If you are not able to make it, uh, look at the option of writing the DSAT exam. It is again another gateway for success. You can still, you know, experience the Anasagar through the DSAT. There's a lot of excitement coming into and why you should come. We'll have this DSU Youth Parliament 2024. Each one is a new experience. And next. Yeah, the Youth Parliament will teach you a lot of things. Next. We are organizing the DSU Marathon 2024. It will be on August 15th, 2024. And uh, this will again be a very exciting. So a lot of such events will be happening in, on the campus and part of the campus, the entire city will participate in a DSU sponsored event. Be there. DSU National Innovation Challenge for secondary and high secondary students. This is something again, very important, I told you, we seed the idea of innovation and entrepreneurship when a child is in class 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So, the, you know, you should not be surprised and especially for parents, don't be shocked if your child comes and tells that he or she would like to start a company when she is still in school or in just entering college. Allow them to, to let their, uh, uh, nurture their ideas, let it flourish. And we at Dan Sagar University will make it happen with funding support with all the infrastructure, with all the mentorship, with all the guidance. And our dream is to see that the these companies which are established by young people in education campuses are listed in the Bombay Stock Exchanges and some of them probably in the New York and London Stock Exchanges. We have seen such successes. Now your support is required. So you, know, you have to stand by their ideas and by their decision. And we at Dan Sagar, we are willing to see that they, these ideas are, are transformed to become great startups. 
Culture is something we give, you know, adequate emphasis and sports, the kind of facilities. Uh, you got to come and see how what sports facilities Anand Sagar has to offer. We are looking at wholesome transformation. So education, academics, innovation, startup, sports, culture. Uh, and these are uh, just not uh, individual. Uh, ind you, you got to look at it, a collective tra wholesome transformation you need inputs of a wide variety and we have created that kind of facility and on the campus so it's all available to any aspiring student uh, not just in bangalore but anywhere please come thank you thank you so much uh, honorable professor janardhan sir and you are given a valuable input about the university and we were really excited about our own satellite from Dayananda Sagar University. It was a great news and announcement from you, sir. Thank you so much. And uh, I would like to uh, invite uh, Mr. Manoj Kumar Jaina, Assistant Director Admissions to talk few lines and thank our panelists as well as a few questions from the students, sir, may also ask. Before that, I would be really thankful to our Chief Marketing Officer, Mr. Deepak, for helping us to organize this webinar and also participating in this webinar. Thank you so much for your motivation for the students of Karnataka, sir. With this, I will hand over a session to Mr. Manoj Kumar Jaina. Thank you, sir. Thank you, Mr. Bagley. Uh, it is a very wonderful session. Uh, especially, I'll be very much thankful to our uh, Honorable Vice Chancellor, uh, Dr. Amit Arbhat, and also uh, Pro Vice Chancellor, Professor R. Janardhan, and our uh, today's uh, guest guest speaker, Professor A.S. Ravi, who has uh, uh, sitting at uh, U.S. and given the presentation, given the information, valuable information about CET and process of the CET how the stu uh, student and parent proceed after the CET result. It is a really valuable information which all the parents and students are waiting for that. Yesterday when I was there in Times of India uh, education fair, certain when I have informed to the certain parent and student, they are eager to waiting for this webinar. I hope all the parent and student must got the uh, information which will be useful for them. They can, they can uh, uh, use this information so that they can be able to choose their right college and right uh, university or right courses and how to proceed about that. And if you have any doubt, any query also, we are uh, right now we are going to address even Mr. Prof Professor Ravi is here to address these people uh, who are uh, having the, any kind of uh, uh, doubt or query. Uh, already he has given the information, almost all points he has covered even though also that if anybody having the any query we can able to do and we'll complete the session today and except that i just want to announce the certain students who are maybe like you know waiting for the cet and comet k result in case if you are getting su successful then well and good you are getting get into the good uh, university and college that is our uh, best wishes to you Suppose in case if it is not happened, if it is not happened, no need to feel bad. And we have other option uh, to get into the Anand Sagar University. We have our own entrance exam called the, the DSAT. The Anand Sagar uh, scholarship and admission test is there, which is on 25th of May, 25th and 26th of May. Still, we are accepting the application. The students who are not written the uh, 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 exam till now, they can fill the application form and they can write this uh, exam. They can keep the option. Suppose in case if you are not getting your right branch or right college, you can take this option and you can get into the Anand Sagar University as for your choice branch if you qualify in this DSAT exam. And we are accepting also, as you, as I told, that we are accepting JE, JE main score and we are accepting uh, Comet K and Unigal score also. So those students also, they can get into through that, through that exam also. And except that, like uh, as uh, Professor Ravi told, that if a student is coming through CET, always it will be uh, lower fees because the, it is a purely government allotment, no donation, nothing. Whatever the people are asking, any donation at all, no donation, nothing. It is a purely government allotment. 
whatever the fees will be decided by the government that only you are going to pay and the certain amount they are going to pay in the CT cell and certain amount they are going to pay in uh, respective colleges. So that is the that is the criteria here. And if anything, any doubt you are having, you can call us. Our contact number is 080 or you can visit our website www.dsu.edu.in. All the information you can get. And uh, we are working from 9 to 9 to 5. Anytime you can visit our campus also, you can see our campus right now. It is the crucial time for all the student and parent before taking the decision. If you like to visit our campus and see the lab and classroom, you can visit our uh, campus and you can see, you can interact with our dean and professors and you can meet our students also. Okay, if I and any any doubt, any query, Mr. Bagli, you can just, Mr. Pua, we don't want to take more time because Professor Ravi is sitting midnight uh, at US. So we have to finish the session. So mm -hmm. a, if a student having any doubt, please uh, uh, put it and uh, clarify the, all the queries and we'll conclude the session. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you, Deepak, Deepak sir. Thank you, uh, Mr. Imtiaz. Uh, uh, all the all the people who are associated with uh, all the uh, cluster team members who are uh, dedicatedly sharing this information to all the all the students and parents to of Karnataka. So uh, uh, for them, I I'll be very much thankful to them. So who is dedicatedly doing this work? Okay, Mr. Bagli, over to you. Thank you so much, sir. Thank you for valuable words and the information for the students. Ravi sir, last question I would like to, I should not disturb yes, you at this yes, moment. Yes, yes, I was so The last question is, do students can predict their rank with the marks? Uh, the Actually, uh, students will be checking their answer keys and they'll predict their marks according to that. Do they, can they predict their rank in KE website or somewhere? Yes. Uh, and I was scrolling the queries, question and answer here. So in addition to that, before uh, answering your questions sir, here, two more questions were there. Just I would like to cater that. So one is, uh, so can we wait uh, till the neat result comes? So suppose if a candidate select a seat, engineering seat, if neat, uh, uh, allotment is done, what is the con consequences in that context, the uh, one, one candidate, has, one student has uh, asked the question, I believe. See, even if you have taken an engineering seat, <coughs> later in the later part, medical seat is not allotted. Yes, you have a scope to change the course, like you can leave the engineering course and you can participate in the medical. If you have paid the fees, the fees will be adjusted. And if any differences is there, you need to make the payment. Or if, if you have paid excess fees, they will refund you back. So there is no problem. They will accommodate. Usually after engineering, medical will be there. There is no such ambiguity. Even in the later part also, so they will accommodate, nothing to worry. And uh, <coughs> other question is, uh, how can I know the course and college code? Please explain, Nanta Hilli Dharai. See, the course and college code will be displayed in the uh, seat matrix. So by seeing the seat matrix, you can see the college code and the course code. By seeing that, you can enter your college code and uh, course code. And now, Bagli, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And uh, what is the query, sir? Can I know your query? Yes, sir. That's what uh, query was uh, rank prediction. Yeah, for rank prediction. See, rank predictions, so especially this year, you cannot because KEA has minus. 50 number of questions, 50 uh, questions, that's what you cannot predict, no need to predict. They will announce the rank, so no one can predict the uh, rank, especially this year. 
usually the rank will be announced rank will be generated based on based on the puc marks as per, as well as the cet marks usually what they do is 50% from the cet marks and 50% from the 12th marks or pu marks pcm for engineering and pcmb for agriculture science courses and pcb for veterinary courses so when they are doing so 12th examinations will be conducted for 100 marks and cet marks cet paper will be for 60 marks 60 will be converted for for 60 suppose if a candidate scored for scored 50 so that 60 will be converted into 100 and then they, they will take 50 marks by taking this concentration rank will be announced that is in the fraction um, that will be in the fraction method that's what especially this year no need to you you definitely you cannot predict no one can predict by seeing the earlier ranks you can you can roughly say so puc mark this much and engineering uh, sorry ct mark this much how much i get so minus of uh, minus of uh, plus or minus 500 uh, 1000 rank they may predict so please my advice is don't predict whatever the rank you get you please accept that if you have if you once again follow the correct procedure of online selection process all will get a seat otherwise as you said so other entry will be there comment k is there and your dsat is there so you and the student can uh, the, there is no need to worry about their seat so they can take uh, take uh, whatever the uh, seat they want as per their rank Thank you so much, sir. With this, I would like yes. to thank. Yes, sir. Uh, professor uh, Dr. Butt is there. Uh, sorry, Dr. Butt is there still? Is in VC, sir? Is there? VC, sir, must be. Uh, he okay. must be okay. having no some problem. other session. Uh -huh. uh, professor, our Pro Vice Chancellor, Professor Arjan Ardhan, sir, is there? Yes, sir. Uh, once again, uh, uh, I congratulate and really my sincere. Uh, uh appreciations would be there for your uh, this thing sir your effort it is much needed and lot of ambiguity will be there before the seat allotment and after the seat allotment, allotment also i think this program has eased the eased all those uh, uh queries and you people have taken much uh, initiation and uh, once again thank you and wish you all the best and my students and uh, parents wish you all the best no need to worry be happy and follow the rules and regulations get a get a seat as per your thank you thank so you. much sir thank you, thank you once again and uh, you have spent very quality valuable time and taking no trouble issues. at the midnight for the students sake as a social responsibility, the Anand Sagar yes. is working for students' sake. Your really, sake. I know, I know, the, I know that institution from last 30 years, sir. Thank you so much, really sir. Thank good. you one and all again. Thank you. Thank, thank you, you so much. Nice. Thank you. It's our we pleasure. Thank you, sir. Sir Ravi, thank you very much. Thank you, Professor Janathan, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank you one and all. College is often viewed as a mere institution, a labyrinth of classrooms,
step foot on campus, we realize that we are not alone on this journey. University Transcends Academia, transforming into a vibrant community where individuals unite. To learn from one another, to grow and to forge unforgettable bonds. It's not always about having a precise plan. It's not always about figuring out. It's not always about reaching the finish line first. It's about discovering what we are truly passionate about. The true essence of college, however, lies beyond the confines of academic pursuits. What truly makes college so special is the life that's lived within its walls. It's about seeing things from different perspectives, exploring unique possibilities, taking on new challenges, finding joy in friendship, embracing individuality, expanding our knowledge and skills, and immersing ourselves in extraordinary experiences. It's a path that teaches us about resilience, courage, and determination. A quest that allows us to pursue our goals with purpose and clarity. A quest that helps us find balance, happiness, and fulfillment. A transformation that inspires us to live with intention, curiosity, and joy. A trail that leads us to a deeper understanding of who we are and what truly matters. It's a journey of self-discovery, what every experience shapes us into the best version of ourselves. We attend college for the education, but what we live with is a treasure trove of experiences that shape us forever. Experience a whole new world of academic excellence in a global environment. Dayanand Sagar University Inspiring future trailblazers today.